Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. It is time to start a brand new season, this time with Aprilia. And uh, these are the colours. I've uh, painted it green. It looks a bit like a Kawasaki. So maybe it's a uh, Kawasaki Aprilia. That's what we'll go with, it's a hybrid. I'm hoping by uh, painting it green it'll go faster. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, I need to show you guys my brand new helmet designed by Jack Elvey at the, the 37 Studio on Instagram. Here we go. So we've got a little monster energy sign on the side of the helmet. We've got Aprilia and number 90 on the back. Uh, the 37 Studio Instagram logo. And then we've got my logo, which is just peeping through a couple of... Uh, they almost look like slits on the top. Yeah, looks sweet. Looking forward to using this one. So yeah, at the 37 Studio on Instagram for Jack LV's uh, work. Okay, time to launch the team. And let's try and launch them into stardom with our uh, Kawasaki Aprilia. That is what it's going to be known as from now on. I don't generally usually... Um, use green liveries unless it is obviously a Kawasaki but uh, yeah I just thought I'd go for something different and that's uh, what I came up with so the Aprilia it's going to be slow it's going to be very very slow it's going to handle okay but it's going to be slow that is uh, my main issue that I think we're going to struggle with the Aprilia more so than the KTM Right, the first thing we gotta do is the winter test. Can we do anything in uh, Oh, we can do an uh, engine upgrade already. Let's get on with it because we're gonna need it. Okay, get the engine people working on the engine. I think that's everyone. Yep, that is everyone. Anything on frame? Yep, yeah, we can do an upgrade on the frame as well. This is already a good start to the season. Getting some upgrades underway already. Oh, that's the wrong person. We don't want him. Okay, there we go. That's better. Not everyone. Yeah, that's everyone for frame. Anything on aero? Nope. Not enough points. Electronics, uh, oh, we can do engine braking, but I'm not really that bothered about that. Okay, winter tests, let's go to Sepang with our first outing on our My World Aprilia. So, pack one first, and then we'll go obviously to back, pack two and pack three. So just need to do uh, tyres, 125 degrees, so we want a medium front and a hard rear. Um, ECU, we'll just do that. I won't change anything in between packs. Full tank of fuel so we can do at least three laps of power mapping too. Time to go out on our Kawasaki Aprilia and see how we get on. This is going to be a struggle I think. So that was a 2 minutes 0.999. So we are getting quicker. But yeah, the uh, the Aprilia does handle handles really well. And the thing is as well, it's really smooth on its power delivery as well. So it feels pretty good. It's just not fast, which is the uh, only downside to it. It hasn't got a lot of grunt. So I think we're definitely going to struggle quite a bit on the straights. But around the corners, we might be able to be competitive around the corners. It's just going to come down to the straights where we're going to lose out, which is uh, a bit annoying. But we're on an OK lap at the moment. We're on a PB lap with the Aprilia. We're half a second quicker at the moment, which isn't too bad. The fact I got into the two minute bracket was 
is uh, quite a nice little surprise. I don't think we're going to get out of the two minute bracket though. I think we're going to be pretty much in that for uh, the whole of the test. But yeah, enjoying the uh, the handling of the bike. Like I said, it feels quite smooth on power delivery as well. Um, so yeah, feeling good. It's just literally the straights. We're getting pretty much slaughtered on the straights. Fuel is very low. Can we get through one more corner? Braking's not too bad as well, actually. Braking's pretty good. Right. Oh. Oh, we just made it to the line. And we did a 59. A 59 eight. Wasn't expecting that. So, it is time to go on to development pack two. But yeah, I wasn't expecting to get into the 159s. I think we struggled with the 159s with the uh, the KTM. So the fact that we already hit a 159 with the uh, prettier is uh, not too bad at all. So we're currently in ninth position on the overall standings. Obviously, still just over an hour and a half to go. This pack doesn't feel as good as pack one, if I'm honest. Morbidelli's just crashed. The winner of Sepang last season around here. I couldn't catch him. I tried to, but uh, he uh, had better pace than me around here. I know quite a few people in the comments section have been saying that I'm going to struggle in the Aprilia because it is uh, not a good bike. So it's definitely going to be a frustrating start to the season, but we'll see how we progress throughout. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. I mean, the Red Bull KTM started off, you know, we, we struggled at Qatar. We struggled quite a bit. Only just managed to get inside the point. So, um, yeah, we had to upgrade the bike to be competitive. Probably going to be the same same kind of thing with the Aprilia, but we'll find out. This is just a test. What's this lap time going to be? It's not going to be a personal best. Uh, two minutes point three oh six. So time to go to pack number three now. Still not hit a 59 since pack one. Full tank of fuel. Alright, let's go. That was a two minutes point six. We're not really anywhere near the time that I done with pack one. That's the only time we've been into the 159s. It doesn't feel like we're going to do that again, I don't think. Again, this pack not feeling as good as pack one. Although, saying that, you know, sector one, personal best. Wonder if we might be able to do another 59 if we're lucky. It's the next split, say. Oh, it's gone great and we've lost a bit of time. But we're still pretty close. do this okay, 
next split. Oh, we've lost even more time, so uh, it's not looking good for a 159. It's probably going to be a low two minutes. Okay, into the final corner. Out we come. What's it going to be? It is going to be a... Ah, oh, two minutes point three. So that is the end of the test. We were ninth quickest overall, which is actually quite promising. So we got a decision to make. Pack three has a better average time, but pack one had a faster lap time. I actually felt better with pack one, if I'm honest. Pack three didn't feel that great, so I think I'm going to go with... Uh, Pack one for this one just because it just felt better so uh, I'm happy to go pack one for the uh, the season and uh, hopefully that's the right choice but only time will tell and uh, yeah let's confirm that so it is time now to get ready for Qatar the first race of the season what can we do Advance the weeks. Oh, I'll tell you what, we might have our first engine and frame upgrade by Qatar. We are. Good. That's what I like to see. So we've got our first engine and frame upgrade ready for Qatar. Okay. That's fine. Get some more people back on research for the frame. Enrique sleeping, but he's not a frame guy, he's an electronic guy. Right, get on it. Okay. Um You're right, that's that's fine. That's everyone. Anything we can do in these, not aerodynamics. Electronics. Oh, we can do anti wheelie one. Yeah, let's do anti wheelie one. It's only two of them, so it's going to take a while to do that. Eight weeks. Okay, let's go over to Qatar and see how we get on them. Six laps with the Aprilia. So I will take part in FP2 and qualifying, and then obviously the race. Qualifying wasn't as bad as a KTM. Um, KTM, what did I start with the KTM? It was way down. It was like something like 20th place, but not as bad with the Aprilia. So we were, what, 13th place. So only just missed out on uh, getting through to Q2. But it's not as, it doesn't seem as bad as the KTM. 14th place, not 13th. Oh, bit of a wheelie. Start hasn't been too bad either. So we go into turn one. We're inside the top ten. Past the factory Aprilia of Alicia Spargro. Although he's gone to get back past. So we are back down to ten. And we have got Miller. But we're still in 10th because Nakagami's got me up the inside of Alicia Spargaro. He's going to go the long way around, but he went off track. So we're up to 8th position, just behind Vinales. Up the inside of Vinales. The one thing I found with the Aprilia around here, I was fastest through Sector 1. Uh, and even through Sector 2 sometimes I was quickest as well. But it was sector three and four is where we were losing a lot of time as we go past Fabio Quattararo, but he's on the inside. Like from now onwards is where we've been struggling because this is a power corner. And then we've got the quick right-handers. Obviously, lack of speed is hurting us. Oh, I so saw Rins was uh, cheekily up the inside there, but he didn't get through. 
and obviously as we go into sector four we've got the uh, the last corner onto the long straight so that is uh, obviously the reasons why we're losing time in those sectors but through the corners we're not too bad at all in fact they're pretty uh, feels pretty good around here we're doing much much better than what we did with the Red Bull KTM Red Bull KTM, we were really struggling around here, but if we can get top five, you know, that's that's a result. That's a result for Aprilia. It's the green, isn't it? It's because it's I've painted it like a Kawasaki. I know Kawasaki didn't have the best of times in MotoGP, but they're certainly doing well in World Superbikes. Can we do anything about Fabio Quattararo because we are closing in because it's obviously sector one. This is where we've been making all of our time up in sectors one and two. It can be quite late on the brakes as well which is good. Looks like Marquez is already getting away at the front. Oh that's wide. Close back in a little bit, but unfortunately, even though we've closed back in, that gap is about to stretch as we come out of turn 10. From now to the end of the lap, they are just going to pull away. So it's going to be very difficult to do anything. We've got a bit of a gap behind, which is good. Well, I'm going to push through this sector just to see if we can hang on the back of them. Obviously, we are going to be losing out down the straight. Otteraro looking over the back of his shoulder there just to see where I was. Into the final corner. They've gone wide on the exit. We've got a better exit there. How I'm mapping up to do is we try and slipstream them down the straight. We're not close enough though, so we're not going to be able to do anything this lap. 53-5 for Marquez, 54-3 from me. Nowhere near Marquez's pace, but we are pretty much on the pace of uh, this group. We have caught back up. Can we take the Kawasaki Aprilia up another position, maybe up to fourth place? That wouldn't be too bad either. All we've got to remember is that this is a much, much better start than the KTM last season. So it's been a pretty promising start so far. I am impressed, I have to say. Up the inside of Fabio. Not quite, he's going to go wide. Can we cut back underneath? No, we can't. As I switch to the end. Oh, no. Got a penalty for that. But we're up to fourth momentarily. We got fourth place momentarily, but now they're, of course, going to pull away. Nothing I can do there. But through the corners, we are good. We are very good through the corners. Marquez has really pulled away now. Oh dear, we've got an incoming Rossi. So end of lap three, we're in fifth. Oh, no, stop it. Ah, oh, Rossi's through. Trying to slipstream him, get back past the Yamaha. That's cost me time as well, that little collision with Rossi. And a turn one, that's too hot. Too hot through there, is Rossi back through? No, he's not. Get away from me. Oh, we got damage. We got damage. That's not good. Oh, that's Rins almost into the back of me there as well.
Right, let's try and stay with Rossi if we can. Damage is going to affect performance as well, which is uh, not what I wanted. Oh, the bike feels like it's understeering a bit now. The one strength we had seems to have been taken away. And we've got 0.2 of a second penalty as well. We may struggle to hold on to sixth position now. We've got two and a half laps to go. Yeah, the uh, Aprilia is starting to understeer. Davizioso is uh, getting away from the group as well, so he's looking like he's going to be in a very safe second position. Rossi's caught that group. He's on the back of them. Unfortunately, I am nowhere near. Won't be able to use Slipstream. we got two laps to go. 54-7 that lap, so we are getting slower. Potteraro's up to third. Crutchlow trying to get him back, but not able to. Just knock him off, Crutchlow. That's what you usually do to me. Main thing is, can I now control the gap behind? We've got Miller in seventh. Can I stay ahead? I don't know. It's not looking... It's not looking great. And we've obviously got that penalty to worry about as well. Please, just a sixth position. I would be more than happy with that with the Aprilia. I would be very happy with, with a, a sixth place. And I wouldn't normally say that. The rear tyre is starting to uh, loosen grip as well. Just try and stay where we are. But we are being caught now. We've only just got just about enough gap over Miller. But I think that's going to be very short lived. Yeah, that is uh, not big enough, that gap. Oh, nearly into the back of me. I thought I'd take a tighter line because I thought he might try and barge me out the way. And he nearly did. 53-4 for Davizioso. 54-7 from me. 53-3 from Quattararo. That was someone trying to come past. Was that Miller trying to come past that? I just saw their front wheel. Okay, we've got it all to do if we want to try and hold on to this. Quattararo's broken away from that gap. That group even. Rossi's still not past Crutchlow. The Aprilia is all over the place now. It is Rins who almost came past into turn one. But it's whether we can hold that gap. And it's not a very big gap. Too hot into turn six. But that may have helped me out a little bit. Got me a better run out. Come on. This will be a good start to the season, that's for sure. Right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We've got a little bit of a gap over uh, Rins. That gap's going to come down. It's 0.3, so it's very, very close. And it's only going to go down a little bit more down the straight. Come on. Come on. I don't think that's big enough. Tight line again. Oh, he done the same as Miller. Almost went into the back of me. That may have just given me enough of a gap to be able to take sixth position. 
They will start closing. But there we go. I think that's a sixth. I think we had just enough of a gap. I think Miller actually got... He did. Miller did get seventh. So we did get sixth position in our first race with a pretty. I tell you what. We were a lot more uh, competitive than I thought we were going to be. That's for sure. I thought we were going to be struggling even more so than the KTM. But we weren't. Sixth position. I'll take that. Ten points. Eight in the team championship and uh, fourth in the constructors championship it's going to be very difficult to do the triple crown this season obviously it's just me in the Aprilia team or the my world Aprilia team so yeah it's going to be known and impossible to win the team championship this season but yeah that that was a very very uh impressive outing with the Kawasaki Aprilia for the uh, the first race Oh, we can do another engine upgrade. We are really struggling on the speed department, so we do definitely need the engine upgrades. And we can do, obviously, the frame as well. So, getting the uh, Aprilia off to a good standing start for the season. But yeah, very promising opening round at Qatar. We can build on that. Circuit the Americas is next. Okay, standings. Moto3. Sasaki won the first race from Yamanaka in second. Masia third. Tate fourth. And Foggia in fifth. Moto2. Dalla Porta won the first race from Schrotter, Baldazari, Luti, and Aaron Kanet in fifth. And obviously over to MotoGP with Marquez winning the first race from Dovi, Quattararo, Crutchlow, Rossi and me in sixth. But anyway guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.